Deschutes County Commissioners voted unanimously today to sell a seven acre plot of land on the west side of Bend for development as affordable housing. The property near the OSU Cascades campus off Simpson Avenue is being sold to Housing Works and Core Community Land Trust for $1.3 million. They plan to build 110 units, 80 will be multifamily, which include 12 townhomes. There will also be 30 cottages. Cooler and dry for us today, something Katie Suniga says we'll see again tomorrow. She joins us now, the first look at your local alert weather forecast. Katie? Lee, we've definitely had a few more clouds today as we talked about going into the evening last night. In fact, you can look at this mostly to partly cloudy skies, depending on where you are within the region. Just an itty bit of skyline we can see right here along the horizon off of this Bend Airport camera. When we look at what's going on around the region, you can definitely see that there are areas that have thicker clouds than others. Some of us are going to see a bit more sun. We're still seeing those showers we talked about yesterday along the crests and then the west slopes of the Cascades, but we have been dry here without the region, just like we've talked about. This condition is expected to stay with us tomorrow, specifically with those temperatures. Right now we're in those mid upper 40s to low 50s, right where we expected to be making it into the mid 50s here in Warm Springs for tomorrow. It's going to be very similar to today. Then we have a very slight warm up that takes us into and through the weekend, but that chance for showers we were looking at yesterday that has increased and now looks like it may come with some mountain snow. So we'll walk through that in detail in your full forecast here in just a bit. Lee, back to you. Last week, News Channel 21 told you about a renaissance happening in Redmond as new businesses renovate historic buildings. Downtown Redmond seeing a growth spurt with a number of new businesses setting up shop in the hub. Jordan Williams is here with the details. Jordan. Lee, while some Redmond, Redmond businesses closed shop during the pandemic, a large number of new businesses moved in, giving Redmond's downtown a diverse business look. It was definitely scary opening in the middle of the pandemic just because there were so many unknowns. Christy Barton originally started her Muddy Merch Co. business out of her Redmond garage in 2018. The fact that it was in the middle of the pandemic, I actually think it played to our advantage. One, it kind of took a pressure off for expectations. Barton moved into this storefront on Southwest 6th Street in September 2020, about six months after the pandemic started. Barton is not the only business in Redmond that started during the pandemic. Twelve new businesses have moved into the city in the last year and a half. To me, it's very exciting what's happening in downtown Redmond because I think we're we're starting to see 